Hey guys, this is Ian with Zing. Today I've got here our new ZRID, Remote ID Broadcast Module. It's made in the USA, right here in California. It's a simple setup, it's plug and play. You take it out of the box, turn it on, and you're already broadcasting. It runs all day. It's got a 14 hour battery life. So I'll take some of the items out of the box here. You can see we've got our Remote ID Broadcast Module. It's just got a single button here. You push it turns green, that shows it's already broadcasting. You got on the back here a 3M dual lock Velcro. It's got a 10 pound weight capacity, so anything you stick this to, it's gonna stay on there. We've done it on the Mavic Mini, Inspire 2, some bigger aircraft. This is a really strong Velcro that can be attached and detached often. Um, you can see here we've got two LED indicators on here. The one on the left indicates the GPS. So once that turns green, you've got a GPS fix and you're good to fly. And the one on the right is the battery life indicator. So basically that'll turn yellow when you're running low and then red when you're critically low and you need to recharge it. But yeah, on a full charge, this thing will get you 14 hours of battery life. We're also excited to announce that we just got our FAA declaration of compliance approved by the Federal Aviation Administration. Basically, they're putting a check next to the Zing Drone Solutions ZRID saying that this module is compliant and you can register it on the FAA drone zone. So once you have your module unboxed, you can see your remote ID serial number here on the side. You're going to use this same remote ID serial number to register your drone on the FAA drone zone website. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to register your ZRID broadcast module on the FAA Drone Zone website. So when you go to the website, just log in and go to um, the drone owner's dashboard. And you can see I have my Part 107 commercial drone account here. I can just hit Manage Device Inventory and I can see all of the existing drones in my cart and the drones that I already have registered. We'll assume that you already have your drone registered and you're just adding the ZRID broadcast mat module to it. So to do that, basically you just hit one of the drones that you wanna have a broadcast module for. And keep in mind for um, drones that are operating under part 107, you're gonna need one broadcast module per drone and keeping it assigned to that one. So you can just hit edit here and on the UAS type, instead of standard remote ID, you need to select remote ID broadcast module. Also select where it says here, does your drone broadcast FAA remote ID info? Say yes. And then down here at the remote ID serial number, you can just type in that full remote ID serial number that's on the side of the ZRID and also in the user manual. And then you just hit save. And now you've added remote ID information to one of your drones. If you want to add it to a new drone, just hit add device, say yes. And then for UAS type, we need to select remote ID broadcast module. And then again, once you enter your make and model, you'll just need to enter the remote ID serial number underneath that. And that's about it. So this is our ZRID broadcast module, um, engineered at MIT, manufactured here in California, made in the USA. Um, we're bringing this to the market now. There's a big need out there for the broadcast modules, and this right here is our solution.